In this video, I'll be introducing the LBO case study instructions for an entry level position. In this exercise, you should assume the role of an independent sponsor or a member of the investment team at a private equity firm. As you work through your analysis, think about how you would communicate the risk reward profile to investors or an investment committee. To complete the modeling exercise, you will be provided with the information and documents that follow. A confidential information memorandum, the financial statements, and a historical financial model with a projection, two summary term sheets, one from a subordinated lender and one from a senior lender, and finally, the letter of intent. You will need to incorporate information contained in the two term sheets for the debt schedules in your financial model, and you will also need to include the management fee detailed in the letter of intent. Otherwise, the information required to complete this case study is contained in the Excel file associated with this exercise. As you will see, the assumed transaction date is 123120. And for the purposes of this exercise, you may assume the associated financials for 2020 are all actuals. Obviously, the numbers beyond the current year are management projections, and you may alter or adjust the forecast as you think appropriate. More precisely, here's what you'll be asked to complete. Build an LBO model with a five-year projection that contains the following. A 50% cash flow sweep that pays down outstanding debt in order of priority. Debt covenant analysis, so be sure to reference the term sheets for covenants. A standard 80-20 distribution waterfall for equity proceeds. And finally, exit analysis that shows returns both gross and net of fees. As it relates to the term sheets provided for the exercise, assume that you can borrow up to the amount listed on the associated term sheets. If you determine the debt burden to be excessive, make an adjustment to reduce the likelihood of an event of default. The process of building a model without a template will expose areas of weakness in your skill set. I would encourage you to attempt this exercise without downloading templates available on a simplemodel.com, and I would even avoid cutting and pasting line items for the financial statements. Typing them will improve retention and cause you to think through the structure of the financial statements. It also provides an opportunity to display the information in your own format, which becomes increasingly important as you look at opportunities in different industries. Please be sure to check the PDF associated with the case study for a few additional details. In the next video, I'll provide a little more detail on the operating model. But otherwise, with the instructions in hand, feel free to go ahead and get started.